Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shah Weekly. And I have a great announcement. I have released my brand new course on core data in iOS. Now, this course just got released only a couple of days ago. So let me go through the course and show you the contents that the course will be covering. We're going to start with the introduction and then immediately we're going to dive into core data. And the getting started with core data section is going to simply allow you to see that how you can initialize core data and how you can perform CRUD operations using core data. So we will not be using NVVM design pattern at this point. We will use it later on. Then we learn about core data building blocks, which is the manage object model, persistent store, the context and everything. You're also going to look at how things were before iOS 10, I believe, and then how things are now. So core data has really, really improved. And now it is much easier to initialize and use core data. After learning about the MVVM design pattern, you are going to recreate the app and you're going to learn that how you can integrate core data with MVVM. Next up, we're going to learn about transformable types, meaning that if you want to store UI image or UI color in core data, how you can store those complex types. So you're going to learn about that. After that, you're going to learn about one-to-many relationship, many-to-many -many relationships, fetching using core data, meaning like different ways of fetching using the predicates. You're also going to learn about the fetch request property wrapper, which was introduced in SIF UI, so you can use that also. Core data in multi-threaded environment and syncing with CloudKit and even few lectures on basic migration. So this is a 8.5 our course and I will definitely add some more content later on. But this is a great place to get started for learning core data. All of the apps and all of the code that we're going to write, we will be using SIF UI and we will be using the latest core data, which is in iOS 14. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and enroll in this course. The best way to enroll in this course is to check out the links in the YouTube description. You will find the link for a, a coupon, which will expire in a couple of days. But don't worry, there will be also a reference link that you can use to get the course. So I really hope that you enjoy the course. Thank you so much and see you in the course.